Thank you. Uh, I'd like to start by declaring an interest that actually I was born in Kashmir and I moved to the United Kingdom at the age of four. However, it pains me to see what's happening in Kashmir. Kashmir is in crisis, an international and a human rights crisis. The people of Kashmir have suffered and continue to suffer. The EU is an organisation which proudly stands for human rights right across the world and we must now today stand with the people of Kashmir. The ongoing crisis in Kashmir threatens the peace and security of the wider region, one of the most volatile in the world. It's our responsibility to do something. The recommendations of the Human Rights, UN Human Rights Commission offer a good starting point for their actions. We must support them and implement the findings of their reports that they published last year in June and this year in July. The institution of the EU and their member states exist not to only protect the human rights of citizens in the, in the European Union, but also they must be defenders of human rights across the globe. The situation in Kashmir will not improve by trying to just, uh, blame either side, because all the while people will try to apportion blame, the people of Kashmir are suffering and deserve better. The people of Kashmir should be the ones who decide their fate and their future. Self-determination and upholding human rights are fundamental values in our European Union and we should, be, we should demand no less from others around the world, particularly those that want to trade and have relationships with us. The fighting in Kashmir has been going on for decades, but in the end, the crisis is going to be ended only when people sit around the table and talk. The EU can be a natural facilitator in this role and that allows, us, allows both sides to talk. The people of Kashmir are crying out in the darkness, the EU must help and provide a light in that darkness. Thank you.